like to know what water companies are doing to uh, alleviate pressure on new developments. Here in Rayleigh, where under the local council is under a lot of pressure to build new properties. Um, some of the land earmarked is actually floodplains, and this has already caused problems for properties in the area already built. Um, and just what provision is being made for new housing to be built in the correct places? I think I can absolutely understand Hillary's concerns. There is particularly in that part of the country huge pressure to build new homes, and I think what she should take some comfort from is all the water companies do work incredibly closely with local authorities. We consult um, over many, many years about what the plans should look like, um, both actually from the perspective of will there be enough water, particularly in East Anglia where uh, the area is more water stressed, will there be enough water for these people coming in. But I think uh, the main concern there from, from Hillary is will the positioning of the houses um, cause you know problems with flooding. Now, I guess, and I don't know if I can bring uh, Peter in here from Anglian Water, but Essex and Suffolk Water only provide the water services, so we would typically be consulting on whether or not there would be sufficient water supply um, for these customers going forward, and it would be Anglian likely uh, to be consulted about whether the properties were going to cause an additional flooding risk or any concerns around that, so maybe you just want to come in on, on that side of things. Yes, yeah, sure. The work we do with local authorities on understanding where development is going to be and trying to work with them to steer where that development is and increasingly trying to have sustainable solutions where we separate out, in short, water, surface water is separated out from foul water on existing installations is really, really important. And that would be a big part of this particular issue that, that uh, I referred to earlier. That, you know, separating out that surface water from the foul system will be part of the solution there. Increasingly, that's what we'll be finding with our existing systems, not, not just uh, the, the sort of new systems we've built. Yeah, I mean, we've certainly found where we are um, operating the wastewater system in the northeast, not obviously quite so relevant to Essex and Suffolk, but working in partnership with local authorities and with the Environment Agency actually to look at the whole hydrology of a catchment to that basically means where is the water going to go and how is it going to perform has really come up with some fantastic, both environmentally friendly solutions but also great solutions that do allow this development because people do want homes yeah. to live in but you know none of us want to cause that flooding risk or, or to have any scarcity of water so I think those partnerships are, are really very very strong.